1980, when I first became your pastor, we were all so poor. We, we had nothing. And I began to teach you the doctrines of prosperity from the scripture. I've never taught you avarice. I've never taught you greed. I've taught you hard work, discipline, planning, savings, sowing seed, honoring God with his tithe. I've taught you generosity to the poor. I've taught you generosity with your own family. I've taught you living a holy life. All of these things are components to a life that God blesses and a life that prospers. Now, I will be the first to admit that there are people out there who take a few of the truths of the doctrines of prosperity and misuse them. But you know what? There are people that take a few of the truths of grace and misuse them. There are people who take a few of the truths of hell and misuse them. There are people who take a few of the truths about being born again and misuse them. Doctrines can be misused or doctrines can be taught properly and bring great blessings to people's lives. Now, in our text today in Proverbs 21, we see how prosperity, again, should be taught. That it is not just about sowing the seed. It's not just about tithing. Those are pieces of it. But there are other large pieces also of this doctrine. Proverbs 21, verse 5 says, Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity. But hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. So how you live your life is going to determine whether you are leading yourself toward prosperity or leading yourself to poverty. Now look at the negative side of that first. Hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Hasty shortcuts. Too many mistakes are made. Not enough thinking goes in. Not enough getting wisdom from others and standing in the council of wise people. And a multitude of counselors, the Bible said there's safety. Hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Never, never look for shortcuts in life. Never look for, okay, I, I want to do this, but I don't want to sacrifice and I don't want to pay the price. Hasty shortcuts always lead to poverty. In fact, how some people teach prosperity is what I would call a hasty shortcut. And it doesn't bring any blessing to their life. It just brings poverty to their life. But now on the other hand, look with me. Good planning leads to prosperity. And hard work leads to prosperity. Thinking through what you are doing. Really sitting down and planning it out. Making your plan in detail. How am I going to do this? How am I going to fund that? Who's going to do what? What are going to be my milestones? What is a proper speed to work at? What am I really trying to accomplish? Where do I want this to bring me? Proper planning, sitting down and planning through how to do something will lead you to prosperity and hard work. Now, there are some people, they can make the most beautiful strategic plans. But you know what? They're lazy as can be. All they want to do is sit at a desk and make a plan. But making a plan requires something added to it. Good planning and hard work. It's not enough just to plan. And it's not enough just to work hard. You have to combine hard work and good planning. Now, combining hard work and planning is a beautiful truth. But look at the hard work now. We've talked about planning. Hard work. Not just work. Hard work. Now, please don't get mad at me, but sometimes, young people, you want everything to be easy. You, you read books on the, the four-hour work week. You, you read so many books on life balance that, forgive me, you're out of balance. I mean, these, these people write books on work-life balance. Ugh. You know what? When there's a job to do, you got to get it done. You need to feed your family. I looked at a guy one time and he was just so lazy. He said, I just want to spend more time with my family. I said, dude, excuse me, you need to feed your family. And he just looked at me. I said, you need to learn to work hard and feed your family. Now, straight up talk, you're not going to prosper in life without hard work. Now, Take that hard work, combine it with good planning. Kaya, when you work hard, you're accomplishing something. There's no, there's nothing worse than working hard and getting nothing done. All right. Good planning, 
makes your work productive. Hard work makes the planning productive. Combine those two things together and watch it lead you to prosperity. Thank you.